Thank you, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Today we're going to talk about coopetition, banding together with your comp competitors, your competition to help grow your business. I'm David Blackman. And I'm Tim Streifler. And we have a unique situation because, as you can see, there's two of us up here. So uh, Brian called me David, and then him David. I'm actually Tim. <laughs> It's all right, no worries. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and introduce David. Since there's two of us, we don't have to talk about ourselves. I can talk about him, brag about him a little bit, and then hopefully he'll return the favor and do the same for me. Uh, <laughs> uh, David Blackman here has been using WordPress for about four and a half years now. He has a WordPress web design agency with his co-founder and business partner, Corey Jenkins. Shout out to Corey, who is a <laughs> organizer here. And, uh, in addition, they have a product company where they create products for the Divi theme framework, as Brian mentioned. And then additionally, David is co-host of WP the Podcast and a panelist on Divi Chat, a podcast for the Divi theme. Thank you, Tim. <laughs> that was mighty nice. This is my good friend, Tim Schreifler. Tim Schreifler runs a web development agency as well, Tim, Schre Tim Schreifler Online Solutions. He also creates plugins and themes for the Divi theme as well. He's my co-host on WP the Podcast. Has anybody listened to WP the Podcast out here? I saw a hand. Oh, a hey, hands. There we go. Right. <laughs> three listeners. I'm happy. <laughs> After today, we'll hopefully have three more. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> so, and he's also one of our panelists on, on Divi Chat, which is a, a weekly live podcast we do. We cover a lot of things WordPress. So, Tim. What is coopetition? So coopetition is a made-up word, not by us. <laughs> we can't take credit for it. Uh, but coopetition is a, a, a word mash of uh, cooperating with your competition, or another way of looking at it, partnering with your competition. So rather than viewing your competitors as barriers or uh, stumbling blocks to your success, you view them as opportunities or uh, opportunities to, to partner and collaborate to achieve success together. Thank you, Tim. I just want you all to know that uh, <laughs> I'm Superman in here. <laughs> and if you know David Blackman, you know he's not really from this planet, so that works out pretty well. Yeah, it works good. <laughs> Alien once or twice. <laughs> and uh, we, we kind of talked about it a little bit, but we're competitors in, in two different ways. So we both have web design agencies where we create client, create websites for clients in a competitive market. So we are in the Divi theme framework, and so we both have people that come to us that want someone that are experts in the Divi theme, and so we're literally bidding on the same projects. So we're competitors on the service side, and then we're also competitors because we both create products for the Divi theme framework, plugins and themes, and then as, as well for the Divi theme framework as well as the WordPress market as a whole. Yeah, Tim has a wonderful e-commerce theme, and we have an e-commerce theme. And it really hasn't hurt us to have the same type of theme going after the same audience and stuff. And I want to talk a little bit about our story and kind of go back to even before our story started and tell you a little bit about my story, because um, I'll kind of, I know that coopetating is not a new thing in WordPress. Maybe it's a new word. But you may hear, hear all kinds of versions of coopetate and coopetating in this talk, but I know that it's not something that's unique to us. I know this is the WordPress way. It's open source. Uh, the WordPress community is phenomenal. And, you know, when I started, when I found WordPress, which was September of 2013, a friend of mine needed to create a blog. I'd never built a website before, and I felt like, you know what, I'm a technical guy. I can probably help you out. I started doing some Google search, found this thing called WordPress, and just absolutely fell in love. Well, as I started trying to learn WordPress, watching lots of YouTube videos, lots of Google searches, those marketers were, they were on point. They had their pixels working, so when I'd go log into my Facebook, I'd start seeing these same type of people. At the time, it was Derek Halpern, I was looking into the thesis, you know, DIY themes. Um, I also, you know, was looking at Genesis and stuff. And so I had like Derek Halpern and Frank Kern and Amy Porterfield and 
even though they had nothing to do with my friends, you know, building his blog for his website, I was very intrigued by them because they seemed to be targeting me or entrepreneurs who wanted to start businesses online. And then I would see them at events and stuff together. And I kind of felt like, you know what, this is kind of like a, a good old boy network. You know, they know each other. They're going after the same user, but they're not, you know, cutting each other down at the knees. I felt like, now this is my perception. This is, I've never met them. I've never talked to them. This was just my perception on the outside looking in. I felt like they were working together in a lot of ways, that they would not release things simultaneously so that they could help promote each other and, and it wasn't hurting them, it was benefiting them. And that was just kind of my first little glimpse of, wow, that's pretty cool. So fast forward to a whole two months to, or three months to December of 2013 and this theme called Divi came out and me being a, a novice, a brand new WordPress user, you know, I, I gotta be honest, I was, Genesis and, and Thesis was caving my head in. I wasn't a developer, I wasn't a CSS, I didn't know PHP, and then I saw this drag and drop thing and thought, holy cow, you know, it's got a lot of power, it might have some potential, let me take a look at it. A few months later, I went to Elegant Themes' blog, read a blog post about WordPress, I don't even remember what the blog post was, but there was a comment in the, on the blog post that said, hey, I've started a Facebook group over here, you know, um, if you want to come over and join it, maybe we can help each other learn this new thing called Divi. And, and that's what I did. I joined. I was one of the first 20 members, could have been one of the first 10 members. Um, I'm going to fast forward to now. Those Facebook groups now probably have cumulative 100,000 members. So that's a lot of people. So when I was in these groups, learning and building websites with WordPress, because I loved it and I was passionate about it, there were a lot of really, really helpful people. And I noticed that there were people that I felt like, um, you know, we would work good together and stuff. And, and maybe if we, you know, kind of worked together, maybe we could help grow each other's businesses. Because by this time, of course, you know, a few months down the road into WordPress, I'm an expert. <laughs> and I'm taking clients on and I've really got to learn it now. Um, so I just, I, that, that's kind of where my mindset was from the beginning. And then fast forward, you know, a little less than a year later, Tim comes into that group. And, uh, you know, I just kind of saw Tim as one of those people that would fit well with our, with our group of people. And, you know, masterminds aren't new. None of this stuff that I'm talking about is new. None of the stuff that we're going to talk about here on the stage is brand new. We're going to share with you our story, our story. We're also going to tell you what we feel like works really good and how it can maybe help you grow your business. Because where I've come in September of 2013 to where I'm at now, four and a half years later, with, with our WordPress company, you know, seven full-time um, you know, contractors, my wife won't let me say employees because she's a CPA, <laughs> contractors, yeah. um, and, you know, eight part-time contractors, and, and tell you what it's done for our business as a whole has just been phenomenal. And I, and I attribute it 100% to having that mindset of you're not my enemy and there's plenty of, of business in the world to be had. You know, and we don't need to fight over it. Why don't I help you? And then our businesses have basically exploded. I've talked for a long time. <laughs> I'll let Tim, you know, kind of kind of jump in and, and say some things as well. Yeah, so I'm going to go through just a couple of ways that we put that into practice, what David's talking about, you know, the, the WordPress spirit, co-opetition. And uh, one of the things that we did, and this is to David's credit, it was his idea, or maybe it was his business partner's Corey's idea. He seems to take credit most of the time, but um, uh, we decided to create product bundles. Um, so as, as we've mentioned a few times now, we were both creating products for the Divi theme framework. Uh, at that time, Divi was um, quickly becoming, it now is the most popular WordPress theme in the world, or at least the most popular premium WordPress theme. And I had come out with a product called Divi Dashboard Welcome, 
and it allows the user to use the Divi Builder to customize the WordPress dashboard, and so they could create, you know, uh, upsells for their clients, you know, contact forms, whatever. Around that same time, David created a product called Divi Ghoster. Let me clarify, David didn't create that product. Somebody on David's team created that product. <laughs> Corey had a big, big hand in that. But Divi Ghoster was, you know, we decided to white label Divi. So, for example, you know, if you didn't want your clients knowing that you were using the Divi theme or the Divi builder, you could use the Tim builder, you know, or turn it into whatever you want. And I kind of thought it would be great to put these two together and stuff, so. Yeah, so we did. We put it out there into the, the marketplace and people loved it. Um, people love product bundles and it did, it did really well. And so uh, fast forward a few months down the road, David coordinated another bundle, a bigger bundle, with those same products we mentioned, plus three other, or two other WordPress Divi developers who had products, and we called it the ultimate Divi bundle. And it did quite well. Um, and so I think just the, the spirit of co-opetition, putting our products together in a bundle, creating something of true value that, that customers can get excited about because they could, you know, one price, you know, discounted rate, but then simultaneously helping us each individually grow, our audiences by getting in front of each other's audiences. It was a big deal and it, it was quite successful. Yeah, we, um, you know, we basically leveraged each other's audiences and I found out some, some very interesting things about our audiences because you would assume that they're all using the same theme, that they would be all the same types of users. But that wasn't the case. They were very, very different. So cross-pollinating his audience with my audience ended up being a really, really good thing. And I didn't know that until down the road, and I'll talk a little bit about more about it later. I think it's important, these product bundles that Tim and I are talking about, I'm, gonna, I'm kind of an open, transparent guy. I'm going to share numbers with you and stuff. Uh, Tim, I'm going to let him. He's a big boy. He can do whatever he wants to do. But on the product side of things, on those bundles, we generated in, in revenue $150,000 on putting those products together from, you know, brand new WordPress product creators. You know, so it was, it was not a small thing that happened. It was a pretty major, significant, life-changing thing that, you know, us fighting together instead, coming together, working together, just catapulted our business and stuff. So I think I'm supposed to, sorry, Tim, I, I'm kind of ad lib a lot of times. I'll go down some, you know, different paths. Yeah. Uh, we also, you know, what ended up happening was we had sort of an unofficial growth council, you know, to where we talk all the time. You know, we share revenue. We're very open about our companies, you know, and not to say that you should do that with everybody. You have to use your own intuition. You have to know whether or not this person's a good fit and whether you can trust them or not. Are they gonna stab you in the back, take your customers away? Because you know what? There are people out there who aren't, you know, um, don't have that type of mindset and they may wanna abuse it or use it. We fortunate, um, in our group, we have several. It's not just him and I, there's, there's a, I'm gonna use the term gaggle. I don't know why, you know. <laughs> a big group of us that, uh, you know, that, that we work together and stuff, and it's been pretty awesome. So we, we bounce each other, you know, we kind of mastermind. We bounce ideas off of each other. Um, I'm going to say this right here. I don't know if it was supposed to come up anywhere else in the talk, but, you know, if somebody would have told me when I was starting my WordPress business and said, hey, this is the, the secret to success. I'm going to give it to you right now. You know, I want you to go in your town. I want you to find your, your biggest competitor, I want you to sit down with them once a week, have coffee with them, and I want you to share all of your top secret ideas with them, your best ideas for the year, and your business is going to explode if you do it. <laughs> I would have said, hey, yeah, right, buddy. You've lost your mind. But in essence, that's what's happened. And, and that's kind of what I want to share. Um, now, this evolved. It didn't happen immediately. We obviously worked together in these Facebook groups and, and got to know each other and stuff, and but as a result, the end result is we do do those things and it's, it's perpetuated, you know, really good growth for our companies. And it was very unnatural for him, so. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. When you have someone that you met 
on the internet, essentially, who is one of your competitors, and he's sharing numbers of, you know, how well, how many products he sold yesterday, and sharing his ideas for new products. It's, I, I don't know, for me, it was a little unnatural. Like, wait, whoa, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you that information. Like, that's confidential, that's secret. Um, and, and that's something that I'm, you know, naturally, I'm more of a, a lone wolf, solopreneur. I kind of do my own thing. Um, but kind of through this process of coopetition, it kind of opened me up and to see the value. Uh, I mean, in general, community isn't something that I, I naturally would see the value in, um, you know, say five years ago or so. Um, but being a part of it and, and, you know, really to David's credit, kind of facilitating and, and being the one uh, prompting this type of, of business relationship, um, you know, seeing the value now, uh, it's, it's a pretty special thing. Um, and another thing that comes with that, and this is kind of obvious, is a mutual respect. David joked how we both have e-commerce child themes that, that compete, um, and, and that's fine because, you know, just because someone bought his doesn't mean they can't buy mine for their next project. Um, but at the same time, I'm not going to go and, and rip off all of his products and say, you know, in the name of co-opetition, you know, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> um, so there has to be that mutual respect, and I, I think that's something that, that we've, you know, through this process and over the last couple of years have uh, come to, to really uh, gain respect for. Yeah, and I think it, it probably goes more on the plug-in side where we're really, really respective. Themes are themes, you know. I mean, you can have a thousand different restaurant themes and stuff, you know, and and still, I mean, there's many people that purchase his e-commerce theme and they purchase our e-commerce theme, you know. Uh, they talk about it in, the, in Facebook groups all the time, you know. Um, they recommend them side by side and stuff. So I think, you know, it is important to um, find people that aren't, you know, don't have a greedy mindset that, you know, gimme, 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 you know. It, it needs to be about the collective and stuff. Yeah, and a couple other things that forgot to add to the slide, that ways that we've cooperated together is we've, we've started two podcasts together. The first one called Divi Chat, where the group that David talked about, where we've kind of all come together and helped each other, promoted each other. We created a live uh, podcast uh, that is on YouTube Live, and we basically you know, share everything we know, uh, want to share everything that we've learned and bring value to the rest of the, the Divi user community. And, and I'm glad because we forgot another thing on the slide. And I'm going to give a shout out to a couple of people, at least one person in here. Give WP is in the house. We did a cooperation between several WordPress developers when Hurricane Harvey happened. And they were gracious enough to donate products, and we raised almost $25,000. Um, and we, <laughs> thank you. Um, Clap, clap for him, too, because he, he donated some products. And we just basically put products together and stuff and uh, gave people a really awesome deal and, and, and helped out. And powered it, too. Yeah. So if anybody else is in here that donated to it and I'm just not seeing you, raise your hand and I'll give you a shout out, too. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Yeah. And then the second thing is we, we started a podcast together called WP the Podcast, separate from the Divi community where we... Um, basically share everything we know about running a WordPress business. Yeah, my whole four and a half years, <laughs> which is, you know, uh, I've, I've taken the crash course in, in, in WordPress, that's for sure. Yeah, so we know obviously not everyone is product creators, and so it's not always applicable to create product bundles and, uh, you know, do bundle fundraisers like we did. Um, and so we, we put together a couple ways just to kind of spark ideas of, of ways other companies can cooperate. You know, WordPress is, is a big platform. There's product creators, there's service companies, there's bloggers, uh, there's online magazines, whatever. Uh, and so we put a, uh, a list of a couple things. Um, you want to jump in first? Yeah, yeah, sure. Some of the places where you can find us is in person. You, you know, this isn't rocket science, meetups, you know, word camps, we're here. Uh, reaching out locally and stuff. I want to. I want to kind of give an example. The person who introduced us, Brian. It is Brian, correct? Thank you. For, thank you for doing that, by the way. When he was sitting up there and he was kind of getting our little intro bio and stuff, he was telling me about his company and stuff, which is different than my company. But it definitely can fill a need for what we want to do with our company and stuff. So I don't know if my mind's just always kind of working that way and stuff, but. Um, you know, in person, WordCamp, here we are at a WordCamp, 
I met Brian 30 minutes ago, literally, and he's telling me about his maintenance company that offers maintenance services and stuff. And, and my partner and I are like, huh, you know, we want to turn that over to somebody because, you know, that's just where we want. So perfect example. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, th these are kind of obvious things where you can meet people that are like-minded, that ha kind of have the same aspirations, ambitions, um, and they might technically be competitors on paper, but you don't have to view them that way. Um, and online's a big thing. That's how David and I met. That's actually how David and Corey met. They were business partners yeah. for, what, 18 months? No, we were, we were full-blown business partners for 14 months 14 before months. we ever met in person. Uh, Corey's my, he's, he thinks he's married to Mandy up there. Mandy is awesome. He's married to both of us, you know. <laughs> Anybody that knows if you're in a partnership, you're in a marriage, so. And they bicker uh, like a married couple as well. But yeah, we met, we met in those same groups that, that Tim and I are talking about, and um, Corey and I just became really good friends, you know. He was really great at what I really sucked at, you know, and I'd, I'd like to say that I was really good at, you know, some things that benefited him. And, um, you know, it's been almost three years, May 2015. So coming up on three years in May, Corey and I will be officially, you know, partners. And like he said, you know, I mean, isn't online the, the world just awesome? You know, I mean, it's just, it's just crazy. Yeah, so a, a couple places just to list out a few things where you can meet like-minded people. It's kind of obvious. WordPress Slack groups, Facebook groups are huge. I, I was not really into Facebook until a couple years ago and I heard about the Divi Facebook groups and people were helping others and you know, it was like, a, I don't know, it's something that you don't see every day. And it was really, I feel like it kind of encompasses what the WordPress community is all about, which is openness and, and helping each other. And, um, and so yeah, that's, it can be a great place to, to meet potential people to Yeah, the Facebook groups with. are really, really good for that, for that actually. I, 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 you know, I've been, I'm in the Slack, I'm in the Facebook, I'm, you know, in, in the in-person stuff, but the Facebooks, you, you just, I don't know why, for me, I could even see character traits in people as they were communicating in the groups, how they were being helpful or, you know, kind of what their motives were and stuff, so it was really easy to see on a, on a mass scale of where you know you may find potential people that you want to partner with. That's actually a good segue into our next slide. Key traits to look for. Yeah. Uh, are they ambitious? Are they looking to, to scale their business? Uh, you know, some people are, are are happy with you know the level of, of revenue that they're doing in their business, or you know the level of growth that they're experiencing. And some other people might want to scale. You know, they want to go to the moon, as they say. And so, uh, <laughs> David uh, saw you know potential, you know, for him and I being on the same page of, of, you know, our aspirations and, you know, wanting to grow our businesses in the, the Divi theme community. And um, so it was a, a, a good match for us, too, even though we we're competitors, to partner up and see what happens. Yeah, and, um, you know, you want to look for, when he's mentioning about those traits and stuff, you know, I look at character traits, you know. Are they helpful? Are they selfish? You know, are they truly you know, being helpful, or, or do they have an ulterior motive, you know? Are they solving a problem and then, hey, ping me over here and I'll send you my rates kind of thing. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's perfectly okay. I think it's just important that you know what it is that you're getting, you know? So, um, you know, and, and I don't feel like I'm unique or different than anybody else. I, I think every, all of us have these abilities to see you know, and use our intuition and say, okay, you know, this person's motives are good. This person's motives, eh, they may not be so good, but they do have some, some you know, assets that may be able to help me and benefit me. And, and, and I have used people like that for one-off services and stuff. So, um, yeah, if you've ever been a part of a, a WordPress Facebook group, and, you know, there's hundreds out there, there's always the, the one person uh, that is basically just pushing it to, to get work and you'll see someone that'll ask an elementary question like how do I change you know the menu or something and that one person will ping them and say private message me I can help you with that <laughs> and so that's like the opposite of you know the person that you would, would want to cooperate with essentially yeah and you know which one are we on with it's our first time so forgive us um, practical ways you can cooperate 
Is that the way? Yeah. Is that where we're at? Yes, sir. All right. Obviously, if you've got product companies, if you're a product creator, you can find different companies that can accentuate your products and stuff. And I'm just going to say it. Don't be scared. Now, we don't only do Divi products. We have WordPress products as well. We probably have in the neighborhood of 20 WordPress plugins. So um, look for, you know, like our dashboard welcome in Divi Ghoster, you know, the ultimate Divi bundle. This was a four, four top developers in that niche, the Divi niche. I know we're talking about that a lot, but that's kind of where our success and growth came from. Yeah, that's our um, story. And they had, we had four developers in there that were, you know, I'm going to say probably for the, the top four companies in Divi, you know, product creators for Divi, and they all came together with their, their best products, their number one sellers, and said, let's give this thing a try. And, and it was, it's, it's done really, really well for us. So l look for, you know, product companies that can help you and stuff. Yeah, but not everyone's a product company. We have service companies as well. Um, so for example, service companies, we mentioned how David and I are companies, sometimes we're bidding on the exact same project and there's times where David has said, hey, by the way, we, we bid at about this much. If you came in right around here, you'll probably get it. Like, <laughs> you don't really see that all the time. Your competitor's telling you how to win the bid that they also bid on. Um, and so for service companies, uh, outsourcing, referring work, I've referred David's company work all the time. We have this mutual collaboration of co-opetition. So I'm you know, not in a place where I'm taking on a lot of projects right now, focusing on the product business. So I'm feeding him all of my leads that come through my website. That's an obvious way where service companies can co-opetate together. Um, another way is joint educational freebies. So Divi Chat, WP the Podcast, uh, webinars, stuff like that. Um, even if you're a company that does web design locally and you know you reach out to a competitor in your area you know you could put on a seminar bring a whole bunch of small business companies in the area come together teach them about you know the uh, best practices with web design and internet marketing whatever and you know that's a great way where you can come together with a competitor to bring value to your community and grow your businesses in the process yeah looks like the same All right, now we get to talk about how it's helped us. And we're gonna let you ask questions. I don't want to, us to be talking the whole time. So if you do have questions, we're gonna leave plenty of time for questions and stuff. Um, how has it helped us? You know, I was sitting in a coffee shop with a laptop trying to figure out WordPress. You heard the beginning part of the story and stuff. Um, I attribute 100% of our growth to coopetating, I kind of like the word, coopetating with Tim and several other members of our community that we've come to know and learn, you know, and I'll let you say, and then I'll share, you know, kind of yeah. some, some other stuff. Absolutely, um, and I, I mentioned a little bit already how community and, you know, uh, sharing and all that, it's not something that I'm, I'm used to and, and uh, like to do. Um, but taking that step of faith and, and kind of going out there and, and partnering with a competitor, someone that, you know, we're not supposed to partner up together, you know, that's not the business way, um, but it's, it's been uh, absolutely a ph phenomenal experience because not only has it helped our businesses grow, but I have someone that I can bounce ideas off of. Um, there's a saying that entrepreneurship can be the loneliest job in the world because no one really understands what you're, you're you're doing what you're going through, um, you know, and so having someone that's right there with you, doing the same thing, having the same challenges, um, it's a it's a great experience and something that's kind of hard to talk about because it's well, hard I, to express. But. I just figured out how I'm going to express it. I'm just going to share my own experience and story. And um, you know that little plug-in. I remember Corey and I, we were like, "Hey, man, we we made an extra three hundred bucks this month," you know holy cow, you know, this is awesome. And then we got to the point where we were making like a thousand extra a month and a couple of thousand extra a month and stuff. And, and it was just like, it was kind of surreal to us. And that was just 
Corey and I doing our thing, you know, before we really dove in with this group of people. And I can tell you that in the last two years, we've grown our email list to almost 40,000 emails. Um, our revenue, when we were, you know, a few hundred dollars a month, we're going to probably, I would like to say we're going to do seven figures this year. Uh, we're going to definitely do in the high six figures. Uh, but my goal is the seven figures. And um, I don't want to sound grandiose and I don't want to sound egotistical, but that's literally what happened to our business. That's what transpired by me going over to him and saying, hey, let's work together. You know what? We got some awesome products. We got a, a, a killer community in WordPress, an awesome community in Divi, you know, why don't we try to work together and see if we can just scale this thing? And uh, and it's just been it's been phenomenal. It's been a, it's been a meteoric you know rise. So and that's David in a nutshell sharing revenue numbers with a <laughs> room full of strangers. WordPress TV. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think final thought. I mean, if this is something that's uncomfortable and you're like me, you're not like David. Um, you know, just get out there and do it. Take that step of faith because it's something that can really transform your business while bringing value to customers as well. And so this fully kind of expresses. Do I look like, no. <laughs> you had a question? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tim? <laughs> The good old handshake, okay. handshake agreement. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's you're probably bringing up, this is why I love WordCamps. We're going to learn some things, too, even being up here. It's probably wise, maybe, to do agreements and contracts, but uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we haven't done them. Uh, and I think it comes back to partnering with someone that you, trust. you fully trust yeah. and you see you know, the same you know, like-mindedness. Um, since we do now have a podcast and we do plan on coming out with a online course together, that's something that we will be doing is uh, putting together an LLC. Yeah, legally. 50-50 partnership. But up at... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, we, we haven't... Uh, I'll tell you, my first... In four and a half years of doing... And this is totally wrong, so I'm like not the person to take advice from when it comes to doing business this way, but... Um, <laughs> I never had contracts, you know. I just had a handshake, and I'll, you know, you're, you're as good as your word. So if I told them I was going to do something, I did it, you know. And if they told me, and I, and it's worked out great. Now, since our businesses have grown internationally and not locally, which was primarily initially, um, we do use contracts now for web clients and stuff. Yeah, so I'm just going to repeat the question because we were told to repeat the question. Uh, so he's uh, asking about the Divi theme and then Gutenberg and how they're going to uh, play together, basically, as well as how it's going to affect client work. Is that correct? Yeah. Want to take a stab at that first? Well, I mean, I I have spoken with with Nick Roach about this, um, CEO of Elegant Themes, and you know he says that they're going to, you know, it's it's still early in the game for Gutenberg. Uh, but they're 100% going to be compatible with Gutenberg. So, um, as far as the client services side, and absolutely, we're going to take advantage of. At least I know our company is. We're we're already diving into Gutenberg and um, you know seeing where we can create and utilize blocks and stuff, and 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 take WordPress to the next level wherever it's going to go and stuff. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, yeah, so he's asking <laughs> if there's been, if we've in our research seen any companies that didn't have such a successful co-opetition. I, I, I haven't seen any. I mean, you're not gonna see Verizon or AT&T, you know, hugging each other, seeing Kumbaya, doing co-opetition. Um, but, and, and you're right, it's probably not something that's suitable for every business, every business model. Um, but I think it's probably more suitable, um, or it's probably suitable for more businesses than people think. Um, you think, oh, well, uh, a service company, you're doing in a local area, like there's no way you can really, you know, come together. And yeah, you might not be able to, you know, put together bundles like we've done, but you can do something where you provide value for your, your uh, local community. Yeah, and I have seen somewhat in our same you know, because I've been in it from the beginning, kind of in the, the our little WordPress community and stuff, I have seen that where people have have been reserved and um, I've honestly felt like they probably could have been very, very successful. And because they were reserved, which is which is okay, it's okay to be cautious and 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 um, and to be the way that you are. It's perfectly okay. I feel like it has hurt them, you know, it hasn't benefited them, you know, because they haven't jumped on the train, so to speak, you yeah, know what I mean? Not, we're not gonna name any names, no. obviously, no. but, you know, looking at where, you know, a couple of, of competitors in our, in our niche market were, you know, several years ago, and then where David and I and several others have continued to grow, helping each other grow, they've kind of, you've seen this decrease where they're not the, you know, the right. leaders in the space anymore, and, um, and, and I, yeah, I attribute that to the way that we've cooperated. Someone up here had a question. Purple shirt. Yeah, so he's asking about uh, when we start to do contracts, are we gonna do it on a product by product, service by service, or, or how that's gonna look like. Um, I, I know for sure when we, we dive into the online course where it's, we're sharing you know, revenue from this course 50%, you know, that's more cut and dry. A lot of the stuff that we've done uh, previously is you know, more informal and it's kinda hard to put a, I'm sure you could put a contract around it, but um, I, don't, I don't really know, do you have anything to add? I, I think it's going to be situational. I think it's going to depend on, on, you know, how it evolves. Obviously, it's evolved. Now, we've been, Tim and I are up here, and it's us two, and it does seem like a bromance. But, and hey, we do have a bromance. Um, but. We're, we're both I happily married, just to be yeah, clear. Yeah, yeah, we're both happy. <laughs> I will tell you this. It's, it's much larger than just P and I. There is a group of people that have been working together. In, in our core group, there's a minimum of 20 of us, all business owners, all competing in the same niche, all product developers, and all of their businesses have skyrocketed because they said, hey, let's help each other. We don't really have agreements. We don't really have contracts. We do have some goals, since we saw how effective and, and, and well it's worked, we have started planning out future, 2018, 2019, revenue goals, things we want to do together and stuff, products we want to create together and, together and stuff. I do see some, you know, like Tim said, we're going to form a company around that to where we're both protected and stuff. And um, I don't necessarily know that maybe contracts is the way to go, I don't know. Um, we have attorneys, we have CPAs, we have people that'll guide us when we get there. And I do think eventually as the, the revenue scales the way that it's been scaling, we're gonna probably do that. So, yes. <laughs> we will, yeah, so he's asking if we have our own LLCs and then have one joint. So currently, no, we, we both have separate LLCs, David with his partner, Corey, and then me by myself. But yeah, we're gonna form one that my LLC, 50% owns the middle LLC, and then his LLC will own that. Right, that's a good yeah. point. 
definitely. And before we run out of time, we probably have about 30 seconds. She gave us the one minute thing. Thanks, man. This was our first WordPress talk. <laughs> Thank you.